I am the Cool Review Guy. This is the um, review on the Walking Dead uh, figure pack from McFarlane. It's a continuation of the last video showing the construction kit figures. Let's have a look at this packaging in uh, more detail. It shows Rick of Merle, uh, Daryl's brother, and you have three walkers. You have Rick there, already fitted together. Um, that's a display to show um, the the quality of these pieces. To show you the back, you got the man himself, Rick, on the back. The other kits you can get, I'll show you closer, have the uh, prison tower gate, there's workable gate. Bottom, you can see uh, the, the governor's room. There is a Daryl with his chopper. Uh, I think you only get one or two zombies with that. You don't get that big horde. Looks like you put them together. Just gonna show you the top. Just got the, uh, the Walking Dead figure pack from McFarlane AMC. So let's look at this. The characters in this set in more detail. I thought it would be a good idea to show you first uh, how small these pieces are and, and how many pieces of these come in. These are the same as the previous one that I reviewed in the last video, which was done last week, last Wednesday. Like I said, these are all in pieces. This is one of the walkers. Um, if I can find the head. There is the head by there. Um, very, very small, but extremely detailed. Really like these. They all come in these baggies. In this uh, box, that's a uh, walker, you have one walker there. You have uh, Rick, pretty nice version of Rick. That's a nice one, that's a nice uh, tight, he's got a pistol, a uh, revolver, sorry. Very nice uh, version of him. Comes with some artwork, uh, especially how you put them together. So that shows the other uh, kits you can get. Uh, this is a boxed set. Uh, it's not a blind bag. These are pretty nice. Nicely done. Very nicely done. We have this, uh, extra walkers as well. We have three walkers. We have Rick. And we have Merle. Um, this is Merle here. I put them together so you can see him in better detail than the other. Okay, these are the, <coughs> uh, the five um, characters, figures, um, after you've uh, put them together. Now, a couple of these, are, I am having slight problems with them standing. I don't know if I put the legs on the wrong way around, but it doesn't look like I have. I put the small base on, but the only problem is so fall over. Now that's not going to be a problem because when I get the diorama of the prism um, I will be gluing these to the bases. Uh, not using these things, plastic things of course, but I'll actually gluing them to the pegs of the, uh, the construction kit. So let's have a look at these zombies, or these characters, walkers. A pretty nice one here. I don't know if it will zoom correctly. Let's try. No, no, I won't do it. But, uh, let's have a look at this one. Very nice sculpt. But I'm still having the odd problem, if you see there, getting this leg to um, get in properly. I suppose a little bit of play with it will get the piece in. I'll have to try and do something to force it in. Don't want to break it off though. So this seems like be like an African American character. Don't know what his clothing is supposed to represent. Maybe he's just in a suit, or maybe he's a you know, office worker or something that's been, you know, killed. And then he's got a large wound, but you can see his ribs. That is a nice one. I do like his uh, his pose. 
see it properly there. He's like, you know, lurching towards uh, his next meal. So that is a nice one. I do like the the work, the blood, everything else. I should get, I should get some better camera lighting in here, but you know, it's okay. Okay, this one. Right. Next we have Merle, who is the brother of um, Daryl, the chopper. Nice um, likeness of Merle. This is him after the. The first series when he gets handcuffed to um, the roof of the skyscraper and you know the walkers are closing in on him so he cuts his own hand off. Um, he uses a, a, a gas stove to, uh, to cauterize the wound and that's how he survived. Nice likeness. I wish they would do something to the face, paint it slightly, but we can see this is Merle. Got a bit of, you know, gunk there. Nice look to this character. I do like his pose. It's a pretty nice pose. Got a small uh, bag there, a pouch. Nice sculpt. Got all uh, you know, the gunk and dirt over there. Like I said, yes, they all come with the, uh, the clips. Each of these characters come with it. Next one. Here we have another walker. Now this is a real nice um, sculpt. I do like this one. Probably see it. Yeah, just showing you all the detail. This is really really nice. This is what we go, you know, look for when we review these kind of things: is the detail, all the uh, the folds in the clothing, the wound, you know. They haven't just stuck any old thing together and called it Walking Dead. They've taken their time to really, you know, really work on this. You know, the creators, the sculptors of these really take a lot of pride in their, uh, in their work. Just for something this small. Real, really nice. I do like the, the folds on the clothing there. Really nice work. Really nice. And for something this small, I mean, that's my thumb. For something this small, they've, done, they've really gone the extra mile. I'm really impressed with these. I mean, obviously these aren't something you give to the small children because of the small components. I mean, look how small the head is, you know. That's my thumb. That's the, uh, the head. I do really like the... Uh, the years of this, the yeah, the water years. You know, that's real, really nice detail there. I don't know on this camera if you can see its its teeth in, but that's really, really nice work. Really impressed with that. He lost his eye, and uh, he's had better days. <laughs> Poor sod, you know. And the camera's actually picking up his face, which is weird. Okay, next character is Rick. Really, really nice sculpt on this one. On this uh, Rick. Really nice. They've done the work pretty sweet with this one. Really, really nice. It actually looks more like Rick than the, uh, the five inch figures which will be reviewed at a later date. Really, really nice. Uh, Worthless, like the wrinkles of the clothing. You know, he's got the dirtied up, the clothing's dirtied up. You know, nice work on the jeans, you know, the, the pants. Really nice. Like I said, you know, this is what we look at. Look for this is the kind of things we, as reviewers, do. You know, we look for the detail. We really like this kind of stuff. It's really nice. You know, they got they've got the yeah, the muscle texture correct, and everything else. 
Uh, the arms are posing. Yes, but they are stiff. But, you know, like I said, they're not supposed to be posable as such. Uh, like I said, these aren't actually toys to give children. These are, you know, different. Okay, that's Rick. Last one. Here's the last walker. Now this is a nice one. I really like this guy's pose. Yes, I mean, yeah. <laughs> My camcorder's picking up his face. Now that is that, but I, I really like the way he is. You know, it's as though he's, um, how can I say? Prowling for his next meal, kind of thing. You know, the way he's standing. He's hunched over. I think he has a beard. Does he have a beard? Yeah, it looks like he has a bit of a beard going on there. I really like this one. Uh, the head, I should have pushed the head on a bit better than that. Yeah, that's okay. That'll be okay. Really nice. Like I said, problem with the joints there. Small problem. Nothing really um, to be concerned about. Because, you know, when he's on... When I do a diorama, if I do a diorama. Ah, you go and solve it. Yeah, the beach just fell off. No problem. It's not really a problem as such. Just put it back on. That's fine. Really like his pose. Like I said, they are, can be a bit problematic to, to keep, you know, standing. But, you know, like I said, when I get the prison di um, construction kit, that'll be reviewed soon. I'll have these glue down to it, which won't cause any problems. Now the back of this is nice. You see all the, the wounds and his muscles. You can see a bit of his spine in the center there. Yeah, he's got blood in his hands. I really like this sculpt. This is a nice sculpt. It really is a nice sculpt. Pretty nice hair work there. I really do like the uh, the muscle work, you know, the work, the muscles to the neck. You know, maybe the guy's a bodybuilder or something. Maybe he's uh, lost a bit of weight now. But anyway, that's the review for the uh, the kit, the uh, the figure pack from McFarlane. I picked this up in Forbidden Planet, thirty four ten ninety nine. So it's pretty nice. Um, Pretty nice work with these. So, that's my review. This uh, Wednesday evening. Hope you're all well. And I hope you enjoyed this, video, this review. And I do hope you come back and see many other reviews. The next review I have you for you guys will be... Sorry. Oh, you've already seen it. Oops. The Bungie War. That will be shown next. So stay tuned. That will be uploaded next Wednesday. So thanks for watching yet again. Please return. Please come again to have more uh, reviews of The Walking Dead. It won't just be The Walking Dead. I'll be reviewing other things as well. But at this moment in time, there will be quite a lot of Walking Dead coming towards you not sure when that this series will end there will be other reviews of other a uh, range of different things collectibles from other television related shows and movies but we're not sure when i shall come to the end of the walking dead reviews so thanks everybody thanks for spending this time um coming to the walking dead wednesday review and i'll see you all next time and stay tuned next Wednesday as we'll be reviewing this guy. So thanks for watching everyone. Have a good day.